Γεια σας! This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greek team Panathinaikos is the new European basketball champion, adding a sixth star to its crescent after beating Maccabi Tel Aviv 78-70 in the EuroLeague final. The Greek club, by far Europe's most successful in the last 20 years, won its sixth European crown and the third in the last five years. Throughout the match, Panathinaikos was the better team thanks to both its strength under the basket and its diverse attacking strategies that destroyed the Tel Aviv club's zone defense. It is Panathinaikos' third title in five years. Earlier this week, Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou described a report posted last Saturday on the website of the German magazine Der Spiegel as being provocative and scaremongering. The report, which claims that Greece is ready to quit the Eurozone, has clearly annoyed the Prime Minister. He immediately responded by telling officials that the country's government should be left alone to do its job. The German website cited knowledgeable sources inside the German government that were behind the report's claims that Greece is threatening to quit the Eurozone in order to place pressure for restructuring of its massive debt on favorable terms. Greece's finance ministry and European Union sources dismissed the report on Friday, but a sudden unannounced trip by finance minister George Papakostandinou to attend a meeting of EU finance ministers in Luxembourg has kept the rumors alive. One of the greatest Greek actors of all time, Thanasis Vegos, died on May 3, 2011. Vegos was also a great director and one of the most popular faces in Greece. He was born on May 29, 1927 in Piraeus. Due to his family's economic difficulties, he had to work hard as a child in small jobs, but later on he successfully pursued a career in the cinema. Vegos was married and had two children. In 2008, he was appointed commander of the Order of the Phoenix by the President of Greece, Karolos Papoulias, thanks to his incomparable talent. Now moving on to the USA. At the end of the month, it is estimated that the Ministry of Finance will have everything ready for the first bond issue of the Greek community in the USA, which will be addressed to Greek Americans and not to institutional investors. A few days ago came the response from the US Securities and Exchange Commission after the request of the Ministry of Finance to issue special bonds for US Greek Americans. As a first step, Greece will attempt a soft borrowing, mainly with funds that could be trusted or deposed by Greeks who are living abroad. The scheme is expected to be launched by Greek Americans in the United States, possibly in May or June, and then Canada, Australia and Europe will follow. Already, the Ministry of Finance has submitted a preliminary application to the US Securities Commission to provide the so-called Bonds of the Diaspora. Greece has requested approval to allocate up to $3 billion in total over the next two or three years to investors from the USA. Now let's see what's going on in Hollywood. Attenberg, directed by Athena Rachel Tsangari, was selected by the Greek Film Academy to be submitted in the foreign film category for Oscar consideration in 2012. In the film stars Yorgos Lanthimos, director of this year's Oscar-nominated Dogtooth. The story is about love, death, obsession and family ties that motivate the characters in this offbeat drama. The cast includes Yorgos Lanthimos, Ariane Labed, Vangelis Mourikis, Evangelia Arandu, among others. Now on to Australia. Ethnic languages and multiculturalism are financed by the state budget submitted yesterday by Ted Bayeux's state government of Victoria. Two million dollars have been granted for the construction of the Hellenic Cultural Centre. Language teaching in community schools will be assisted financially by the state. More specifically, the Minister of Multicultural Affairs, Nikolaos Kotsiras, maintained that $16.3 million will be given to schools for immigrants in the next four years. 
president of the Greek Orthodox community of Melbourne, Vasilis Papasteriadis, expressed his satisfaction about the government's assistance towards multiculturalism and immigration. Let's see what's going on in Canada. Last week, Canadians voted and offered the first majority government to Conservative Prime Minister Stephen Harper. After a historic race where party correlations were reversed and the New Democratic Party of Jack Layden was nominated by the opposition. The Liberal Party sank, only occupying the third position, and the separatist bloc Quebecois lost its power over Quebec. Jim Karajanis kept the seat of the Liberal Party, but John Canis lost it at Scareborough Centre. Kostas Menegakis, president of Canada SAE, won for the first time the seat for the Conservatives at Richmond Hill of Ontario. Tony Clement of Cypriot descent, Minister of Conservative Party's government, was re-elected in Paris Sound, Muskoka. Nikki Ashton of Greek descent was re-elected in Manitoba with the New Democratic Party. Moving on to Russia. What is considered to be a unique discovery has been made in Taman, South Russia at the Black Sea. The ruins of an ancient Greek city dated around the 6th century BC came to light. Archaeologists are stunned both by the number of the findings and the condition they were found in. The excavations are proceeding with extreme caution in order to avoid damaging the city's ancient fortress. According to historians, it is assumed that the ruins are the temple of Dimitra, the ancient goddess of fertility and agriculture, while they were able to determine the very spot of the altar. But the number of the findings induced them to believe that a whole city has been found. For more news and updates, don't forget to visit us at GreekReporter.com. Have a wonderful week and remember, Greeks are everywhere.